Imagine uncovering a treasure trove of innovations, from the everyday to the extraordinary, all born from an era cloaked in infamy. This journey invites you to explore 20 incredible inventions from the Nazi era, blending historical fact with a dash of curiosity. Prepare to be surprised by the legacy of technology and societal advancements that still impact us today. Number one, Jägermeister, more than just a herbal liqueur. When you think of Jägermeister, the image that likely comes to mind is one of lively parties and the infamous Jägerbomb. Yet the origins of this herbal liqueur are steeped in a history far removed from its contemporary party image. Created in 1934 by Kurt Mast, Jägermeister's roots intertwine with Germany's dark past. Mast, an avid hunter, named his creation after the German hunting term, translating to master hunter, a nod to the hunting traditions deeply ingrained in German culture. However, it's crucial to distinguish between the creator's political affiliations and the brand itself. Mast's association with the National Socialist German Workers' Party, NSDAP, often casts a shadow over Jägermeister's history, raising questions about its connections to the era. Despite these associations, Jägermeister has evolved beyond its origins, becoming a global brand that signifies camaraderie and celebration rather than political ideology. Number two, Volkswagen. VW, the people's car. The inception of Volkswagen, known globally as VAW, is intertwined with Adolf Hitler's ambitious vision to motorize Germany. In the 1930s, Hitler dreamt of an affordable car that every German family could own, symbolizing both progress and unity under his regime. This led to the birth of the Volkswagen Beetle, a vehicle that would later become an icon of simplicity, reliability, and affordability in the automotive world. Ferdinand Porsche, the engineering genius behind the design, was tasked with creating a people's car, Volkswagen in German, that was cheap, yet reliable enough to navigate the newly constructed Autobahn spreading across the country. The Beetle's unique design and efficient production process revolutionized car manufacturing, laying the groundwork for what would become one of the largest and most influential automakers in the world. Its impact extends far beyond the borders of Germany, with the Beetle becoming a symbol of peace and love in the 1960s and 70s. The enduring legacy of Volkswagen is a testament to the brand's ability to transcend its origins, becoming a beloved figure in the tapestry of global culture and a pioneer in the automotive industry, pushing forward innovations in manufacturing, marketing, and environmental standards. Number three, methamphetamine, a soldier's aid. During World War II, methamphetamine, originally synthesized in Japan in the late 19th century, found a new and ominous role on the battlefields with the German military. Under the trade name Pervitine, this potent stimulant was distributed in vast quantities to troops to sustain their alertness, endurance, and morale during extended operations. The idea was to create super soldiers capable of immense physical and mental exertion without the need for rest. The use of methamphetamine by the German military is a stark illustration of the extremes to which wartime desperation can push scientific application. Soldiers, aviators, and even submarine crews were given methamphetamine to ward off fatigue, enhance focus, and reduce the perceived need for sleep. This practice highlighted a grim aspect of warfare, the manipulation of human physiology for enhanced performance without a full understanding or consideration of the long-term consequences. Number 4. Volksempfänger – Broadcasting Nazi Ideals the Volksempfänger, or People's Receiver, was a pivotal tool in the Nazi regime's propaganda arsenal, designed with the sinister intent of making Nazi ideology as accessible as the daily news. Introduced in 1933, this radio was ingeniously crafted to be affordable for the average German household, ensuring that Hitler's speeches and Nazi propaganda could infiltrate every home. Its simplistic design, which limited reception to domestic broadcasts, effectively isolated listeners from foreign news creating an echo chamber of Nazi ideals. This device wasn't just a technological innovation, it was a calculated move in psychological warfare, turning the living room into a classroom for the Third Reich. By monopolizing the airwaves, the Nazis could shape public opinion, sow discord among opposition, and rally support for their cause. The Volksempfänger's role in disseminating propaganda demonstrated the power of media manipulation, a lesson that echoes ominously in today's digital age reminding us of the media's potential to both enlighten and deceive. Number five, Jerry Can, an engineering marvel. 
The jerry can, a seemingly mundane object, is a testament to ingenious engineering under the pressures of warfare. Originally designed by the Germans in the 1930s for military use, its robust and practical design set a new standard for fuel containers. The jerry can's distinctive features, a compact rectangular shape, sturdy metal construction, and a secure three-handle design, allowed for easy transportation, efficient storage, and convenient handling by one or two people. What set the jerry can apart was not just its durability, but also its superiority in preventing leakage and evaporation, a common issue with earlier fuel containers. Its reliability in harsh conditions quickly caught the attention of the Allies, who saw its strategic value and adopted it for their own use. This adoption is a classic case of wartime innovation crossing enemy lines due to its undeniable utility. Number 6. V2. Rocket. The dawn of ballistic missiles. The V-2 rocket, developed by Nazi Germany during World War II, represents a pivotal moment in the history of rocketry, marking the birth of the ballistic missile era. Led by Werner von Braun, the V-2, or Virgil Tungswaffe II, was the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile. Its design and technology were revolutionary, capable of delivering a one-ton warhead over a distance of 300 kilometers, at speeds surpassing the sound barrier, an unprecedented feat at the time. The impact of the V-2 rocket extended far beyond its immediate military utility. While it was designed as a weapon of war, the technological innovations developed for the V-2 laid the groundwork for all future rocketry. After the war, both the United States and the Soviet Union seized V-2 technology and expertise to kickstart their own rocket programs. This led directly to the space race and the development of the rockets that would eventually carry humans to the moon. The legacy of the V-2 rocket is a complex one. Born out of destructive intent, its development pushed humanity into the space age. It stands as a testament to the dual-edged nature of technological advancement capable of both devastation and inspiring leaps towards exploration and discovery. Number 7. Messerschmitt Mi-262 Jet-Powered Aviation The Messerschmitt Mi-262 heralded a new era in aviation as the world's first operational jet-powered aircraft Introduced by Germany in the latter stages of World War II, it was a remarkable leap forward in technology, capable of speeds that far outstripped those of Allied propeller-driven aircraft. The Mi-262 utilized the innovative axial flow jet engines, which provided unprecedented speed and performance, opening up new tactical possibilities for aerial combat. Despite its late entry into the war and the limited number it was produced, the Mi-262 had a profound impact on the future of aviation. Its design and speed forced a rapid re-evaluation of air combat tactics and aircraft design principles. The Mi-262's influence can be seen in the rapid development of jet aircraft in the post-war era, as nations raced to incorporate jet technology into their own fleets. Number 8. Fanta. A beverage born from embargo. In the midst of World War II, Trade embargoes against Nazi Germany led to a scarcity of many goods, including the ingredients necessary to produce Coca-Cola. Faced with these constraints, Max Keith, the head of Coca-Cola GmbH in Germany, embarked on a quest to create a new product that could be made from available resources. The result was Fanta, a fruit-flavored soft drink concocted from whatever ingredients could be found at the time, such as whey and apple pomace. The name Fanta was derived from the German word fantasy, Inspired by Keith's instruction to his team to use their imagination, fantasy in German, to create a new beverage. Initially developed as a workaround to keep the factory running and maintain morale during tough times, Fanta quickly became a popular drink in Germany and beyond. After the war, Fanta was adopted into the Coca-Cola family of brands and evolved significantly from its original formula. Today, it is one of these most popular soft drinks worldwide available in a multitude of flavors that bear little resemblance to the original wartime concoction. Number 9. Autobahn. The myth of Nazi invention. The association of the Autobahn with Nazi Germany is a widespread misconception. While it's true that the Nazis aggressively promoted and expanded the Autobahn network as a symbol of technological prowess and efficiency, the first Autobahn was actually opened in 1932, a year before Hitler came to power. This initial stretch of highway, running between Cologne and Bonn, was part of a broader vision for a national highway network that predated the Nazi regime. The expansion of the Autobahn under the Nazis was indeed significant, driven by a desire to showcase German engineering and facilitate rapid military movement. 
However, the conception and initial construction of controlled access highways were not their invention. The Nazis were adept at co-opting existing projects and ideas, and their involvement with the Autobahn is a prime example of this strategy. They utilized the Autobahn for propaganda, claiming it as a triumph of their governance, despite its origins in the Weimar Republic. Number 10. Z3. Computer. A digital pioneer. In the realm of computing history, Konrad Zuse's Z3 holds a place of honor as the world's first fully functional, programmable computer. Completed in 1941 in Berlin, the Z3 was a marvel of engineering, utilizing electro-mechanical relays to perform calculations. It was designed to solve complex engineering equations that were too cumbersome for human computation, showcasing a significant leap forward in computational technology. Zuse's creation was groundbreaking, introducing concepts such as binary arithmetic and floating point calculations, foundational principles of modern computing. Unfortunately, the significance of Zeus's work was not widely recognized during his time, partly due to the ongoing war and the destruction of the Z3 in an Allied bombing raid in 1943. Despite this, Zeus's contributions laid the groundwork for the future of computing. His vision of a programmable machine would inspire future generations of computer scientists and engineers, paving the way for the digital revolution. Number 11. Synthetic Rubber and Fuel – Wartime Innovations The constraints and demands of World War II drove significant advancements in synthetic materials, notably in the development of synthetic rubber and fuel. Germany, facing embargoes and limited access to natural resources, invested heavily in research to produce alternatives essential for their war effort. Buna rubber, a synthetic rubber developed in the 1930s, became a critical resource for Germany during the war. The Allied blockade had cut off access to natural rubber supplies, and Buna rubber provided a much-needed alternative for tires, gaskets, and other military and industrial applications. The development of Buna rubber was not just a wartime exigency, but also a significant scientific achievement that would have lasting impacts on the materials science field, leading to the widespread use of synthetic rubber in a variety of post-war applications. Similarly, the fischer tropsch synthesis process for producing synthetic fuel from coal was another crucial innovation. With oil fields beyond their reach, Germany turned to its abundant coal reserves to produce liquid fuels. This technology allowed the German military to maintain its mechanized units and air force despite the Allied efforts to cut off oil supplies. The fischer tropsch process and other methods of synthetic fuel production were part of a broader effort to achieve self-sufficiency in fuel, which, while not fully realized during the war, would later influence energy research and policy. Number 12. The Enigma Machine. Cryptographic Complexity. The Enigma Machine a device shrouded in mystery and intrigue, stands as a monument to the cryptographic battlefields of World War II. Developed by the Germans in the 1920s for commercial use, it was quickly adopted by the military for its potential in secure communication. The machine's complexity, with its rotors and variable settings offering billions of possible encryption combinations, made it seem impenetrable. The Nazis' reliance on this device for encrypting military communications was a testament to their belief in its unbreakability. However, the Allies, led by brilliant minds like Alan Turing and his team at Bletchley Park, undertook the monumental task of deciphering Enigma encrypted messages. Their success in cracking the Enigma codes is one of the war's most fascinating stories, highlighting the critical role of intelligence and code-breaking in military strategy. The decryption of Enigma messages provided the Allies with invaluable insights into German plans and movements, significantly contributing to the war's outcome. Number 13. Rocket-Propelled Grenades – New Anti-Tank Weapons The development of rocket-propelled grenades RPGs, by Nazi Germany marked a significant evolution in anti-tank warfare. Among these, the Panzer Schreck and Panzer Faust were the most notable for their simplicity, effectiveness, and impact on the battlefield. These weapons were born out of necessity, as German forces sought efficient means to counter the increasing threat of Allied armor. The Panzer Schreck, meaning tank terror, was inspired by the American bazooka and featured a larger warhead and longer range. It required a two-man team to operate, one to fire and the other to load, making it somewhat cumbersome but devastatingly effective against tanks. 
The Panzerfaust, on the other hand, was a single-use, disposable anti-tank weapon that was simpler and even more straightforward to use, allowing infantrymen to deliver powerful blows against enemy armor at close range. Its ease of production and use made it possible to mass-produce and distribute widely among German troops, enabling even minimally trained soldiers to take on armored vehicles. Number 14. Messerschmitt. Me. 163. Comet. Rocket power in the skies. The Messerschmitt Mi-163 Comet, the world's first operational rocket-powered fighter aircraft, represented a remarkable technological leap in aviation during World War II. Developed by Germany in a bid to counter the overwhelming air superiority of the Allies, the Mi-163 was a bold venture into previously uncharted territories of speed and altitude capabilities in combat aviation. Its rocket engine enabled it to reach unprecedented speeds of up to 700 kilometers per h, 435 miles per hour, making it the fastest aircraft of its time. Despite its groundbreaking achievements, the Mi-163 was plagued with limitations that hindered its effectiveness as a weapon. The volatile nature of its rocket fuel posed significant risks to pilots, while the aircraft's limited operational range and flight duration due to fuel constraints restricted its time in combat zones, Moreover, the high speeds achieved by the Mi-163 made it difficult for pilots to accurately target enemy aircraft, diminishing its role as a fighter. Number 15. Nerve Agents – A Chemical Leap Forward The discovery of nerve agents such as Taben and Sarin by German scientists in the 1930s marked a significant, albeit ominous, advancement in chemical warfare. These compounds, designed as pesticides, were found to be highly toxic to the nervous system leading to their weaponization. Nerve agents act by inhibiting the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter, resulting in uncontrolled muscle contractions, respiratory failure, and ultimately death. The potential of these agents as weapons of mass destruction was recognized early on, but fortunately, nerve agents were not used on the battlefield during World War II. The ethical implications and the fear of retaliatory attacks with similar or worse weapons likely contributed to their non-use. However, their development and subsequent proliferation in various countries' arsenals throughout the Cold War period underscored the dark side of chemical science when applied to warfare. Number 16. The Electroboot – Underwater Innovation The Type the one U-Boat, often referred to as the Electroboot, was a revolutionary design that marked a significant evolution in submarine technology during World War II. Conceived by the Germans as the war drew to a close, this innovative submarine was designed to operate primarily submerged, unlike its predecessors, which were surface vessels that only submerged for attacks or evasive maneuvers. The Type Tuckerpinf-1 boasted a streamlined hull design, enhanced battery capacity, and a snorkel system that allowed it to recharge batteries while submerged significantly reducing the risk of detection. With a greater emphasis on underwater performance, the Type 11 could achieve higher speeds and longer underwater endurance than any other submarine at the time. Its sophisticated torpedo reload system enabled a rapid rate of fire, making it a formidable adversary. Although only a few were completed and operational before the war ended, the Type Toxny 1's design had a lasting impact on post-war submarine development. The Electroboot is considered the precursor to modern nuclear submarines, influencing naval architecture and propulsion systems in the years to follow. Its innovations paved the way for the development of submarines that could remain submerged for extended periods, fundamentally changing naval warfare's strategic and tactical aspects. The Type Tatuan U-Boat stands as a testament to the ingenuity of engineers and the dramatic shift towards a new era of underwater warfare, where stealth and endurance would become paramount. Number 17. Infrared Night Vision – Seeing the Unseen The development of infrared night vision technology during World War II represented a significant leap forward in military capabilities, allowing soldiers to see in the dark for the first time. German scientists and engineers pioneered this technology, creating devices that could detect infrared light which is invisible to the naked eye, and converted into a visible image. Early night vision devices were bulky and required a source of infrared illumination, like an infrared searchlight, to illuminate targets. These initial systems were mounted on vehicles and weapons, including panther tanks and sniper rifles, giving German forces a considerable advantage during night operations. 
The ability to conduct operations in complete darkness without revealing one's position to the enemy was a game changer in combat scenarios. Despite their innovative nature, these early night vision devices were not widely deployed due to their late introduction into the war and the technological limitations of the time. Number 18, FG-42, a paratrooper's firearm, the Fallschirmjagergewehr 42, FG-42, developed for the German Airborne Forces during World War II, was a revolutionary firearm that combined the features of a rifle, carbine, and light machine gun. This versatility made it particularly suited for the varied needs of paratroopers, who required a weapon effective for both close combat and supporting fire roles. The FG-42 was ahead of its time, featuring a select fire capability, allowing for both semi-automatic and fully automatic fire and an innovative side-mounted magazine that helped balance the weapon and reduce its silhouette. Its design incorporated a unique gas-operated mechanism and a stamped metal construction, which were innovative for the time and influenced the development of future firearms. The FG-42's ergonomic considerations, such as a pistol grip and a relatively straight stock to align recoil with the shoulder, minimized muzzle climb and improved control during automatic fire, the influence of the FG-42 can be seen in many post-war designs, including the American M60 machine gun and the Belgian FNFAL. Its combination of lightweight, firepower, and ergonomics set a new standard for infantry weapons, pushing military small arms into the modern era. The FG-42 remains a testament to the innovative design and engineering capabilities of wartime research and development, leaving a lasting legacy on the evolution of military firearms. Number 19. Horton Ho, 229, the stealth aircraft prototype. The Horton Ho 229, designed by the Horton brothers in Nazi Germany, was a prototype flying wing aircraft that incorporated several features aimed at reducing radar detectability, arguably making it the first attempt at a stealth aircraft. Its design was revolutionary, utilizing a blended wing body that lacked a distinct fuselage, tail, and other protrusions, which minimized its radar cross-section. Additionally, the HO-229 structure was made of wood, which, combined with a proposed coating of radar-absorbing material, would potentially further reduce its visibility to radar. Though primarily designed to improve aerodynamic efficiency and performance, these features incidentally provided the HO-229 with a reduced radar signature compared to conventional aircraft of the era. Its jet-powered design allowed for high speeds and would have enabled it to perform both bomber and reconnaissance missions with a lower risk of interception. Number 20. Advancements in Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery Healing the Wounds of War World War II, with its unprecedented scale of destruction and injury, catalyzed significant advancements in medical science, particularly in the field of plastic and reconstructive surgery. As soldiers returned from the front with injuries that defied conventional medical practices of the time, the demand for innovative surgical solutions to restore function and appearance became critical. In this crucible of necessity, surgeons and medical professionals pushed the boundaries of existing knowledge, developing techniques that would form the foundation of modern plastic and reconstructive surgery. Among these pioneers was Sir Archibald Mackendo, a New Zealand-born surgeon working in Britain who made significant strides in treating burned airmen. Mackendo's work at the Queen Victoria Hospital in East Grinstead introduced new methods in the treatment of burn injuries, including the use of saline baths to treat burns instead of the traditional tannic acid, and the development of innovative surgical techniques to improve mobility and reduce scarring. 